Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy, Polite. And today, I actually just wanted to say that I have downloaded Bacchus Mod. Or Bacchus Mod. I don't know how you say it. Correct me if I'm wrong. So if I go ahead and press F2, it'll bring up Bacchus Mod. Um, obviously after you download it. There's a bunch of tabs at the top. Currently, I would say the most relevant tabs, for me at least, are the item tab, replay, custom training, and the ranked tab. Um, I don't really do anything, do much of anything with the other ones. We'll start with the items tab. Uh, this is basically your garage. You can, as you can see, I already modded my vehicle. That, and I don't even have this decal. So if I actually uncheck enable item mods, this is my original vehicle. But with Bacchus Mod, when I enable my modded customizations, this is what I have for my vehicle. And the thing is, only I will be able to see this. Everybody else will only see my original car. But I'm obviously going to put on my modded car because I like the way it looks. So that's the garage for you. Um, it has, I don't know how many or how far back these decals go in terms of seasons, but there's a lot of them. And there's a lot of each each uh, selection to style your vehicle, hat, antenna, everything. There's so much. But if you do get Bacchus Mod, then you can obviously make almost whatever car you want to make. Moving on to the free play tab. There's a few things I think that I changed from the default. And this is what I ended up with. Uh, I like this because I have used normal stadium colors, use normal card color, and show goal speed. So basically these two will be able to make the stadium in my car look the exact same without having it being like whited out like it usually is. I actually also unchecked goal scoring because that means that it won't, even when I shoot a goal, it won't count basically. It won't go through the whole process of replaying the goal and so you can continue to practice. And then I do have checked show goal score speed so that'll show how fast the goal did go in. And let's actually go into free play and there's one more thing I want to show you guys in free play and that will be the d-pads the d-pad buttons and what they do so if you press d-pad up it'll actually put the ball right above you anywhere where you are on the field it'll just the ball will just go right on top of your car when you press d-pad up if you press d-pad down the ball will redirect to you so anywhere where you are the ball will just redirect if you press d-pad left the ball will actually try to it'll hit the backboard and rebound so you can get your rebound so if i drive up to the blue goal side it'll go up hit the backboard and i'll have to try to get the rebound if i do it again it'll go up to this backboard and the speed varies depending on where you are where your position so if i'm back here it's gonna fly over there when i press d-pad left i have to try to recover that and then when you press d-pad right the ball will just slowly roll towards you so you can make a dribble play or practice your dribbling. So you just press the pad left, it'll roll to you and then you can do whatever you want. And then like I said in the top left, it'll show you goal speed so you don't miss out on that aspect either. And also in the ranked tab, this is actually really nice about Bacchus mod, um, in the ranked tab you can actually enable MMR so you can see the people's MMR in game to see kind of and your own MMR to see kind of where you stand in the ranks and when you're going to be able to rank up to the next division. And then I have used POV goals and basically that'll just show the POV of the person who's hitting the ball in the replay rather than just the, the like overview of the play. Everything else you can check or uncheck just depending on how you feel. This is just my settings. I'm just showing you guys what I did. As for the custom training tab, this is what I have, which is basically nothing is checked just because everything didn't really seem too efficient or relevant for me. But let's actually go into custom training and let me show you guys why Bacchus Mod is actually still good for custom training. What Bacchus Mod can do for you in custom training is basically the same thing. It, it'll, it'll use those D-pads for extra control in training. So for example, if I press D-pad left or right, it'll just go through the selection of shots. If I press D-pad up, it'll actually pick a random shot for me. So if I ever want to just start shooting random shots and so I'm not really expecting it or prepared like what to do. 
And I can do that. Oh my gosh. So yeah, D-pad up will give you a random shot. And then D-pad down will actually mirror that shot that you are on. So if you want to do it on the other side and they don't have it in the training, you just press D-pad down and you can do it on the other side. So that's really nice, really convenient. This is exactly why I wanted to download Bacchus Mod. Because there's so many features that can help you train just a little bit more efficiently. This is exactly what I need if I want to get better and especially if I want to be a grand champion one day. Anyways guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy, Polite. Make sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed. And I'm out. Peace.